Hello guys, my name is Angela Onsu. Um, welcome to today's segment. And we are here to talk about sex. Everything sex, the basics of sex and love making entirely. And um, I'm here to teach you um, a lot of things we don't know in our families, happening in lifestyles, relationships, marriages. So many people have the very wrong perceptions about sex. So many people see it as a taboo. When you mention sex in families, in social gatherings, they'll be looking at you like you are saying a very out of this world thing. That like maybe you're not properly brought up in your family. You have a very um, weird or a very um, bad upbringing. It is seen as a taboo. Nobody wants to mention sex. Basically, sex is something everybody does. Let me just use it this way, apart from the minors. Everybody indulges in sex. We all do sex. We all have sex. We all make love. But they do it inside um, their bedroom, behind closed doors. But when they come out and they mention sex, everybody will look at you in a very strange way. They will see you as a child that wasn't brought up the right way. So me here now as a sex therapist, I'm here to, I'm here to clear that view. Starting from the childhood sex education to adulthood, marital life, how it helps a relationship. Um, conception and all that. There's cases like rape, um, unwanted pregnancies, um, sexual assault, harassment, all those things will be lessened in our society because um, it is ignorance that causes them. When you don't know much things that you're meant to know about sex, you are like um, living a blind life. Without sex, it's like, just like living a life where you don't have money. Sex is very important in our society and the earlier we knew these things, the better for us. So in today's program, I'm going to enlighten you more. I'm going to take you on the basic cause of sex, the core values, how we, it will help your marriages. So many marriages are suffering right now because of lack of good sex. So many people don't have that sex vibe. They don't have that spark in their marriages anymore because sex is dead there. And in a lot of relationships too, there is nothing like good sex. So many people have sex the wrong way because of the wrong perceptions that we have in it. So now um, I hope you listen and stay tuned as I bring you everything you need to know about sex and I, pray, I hope it will enlighten you and educate you more. There's nothing that gives me an happiness. Nothing! No, no sensation, no sweetness. We get infection in other things. Sweet than vagina. That is where the waste comes out. Wait, I've already said, see where you're going to your That's where God said it's coming out from. You can't give me a dick I suck as an oral sex and then just vocally talk about how to suck in the same oral sex. It doesn't make sense. This one is just how to give a blue job. QED, that's the way you use this one. How to give a blue job. But that's in B. You enter my mind. Okay, guys, welcome back to this very educating. An interactive program. Like I said before, we went to we went for a break. I'm here to basically enlighten you about um, the importance of sex. When is the right time to educate your child, male and female child, about sex? You know, so many parents are these um, uptight. They are like, I don't. They are just too frigid. When when as in too rigid when you mention sex or when your child asks them any sex-related question. They either scold the child or want the child not to ever mention again that it's evil, it's bad, it is not right for the child to talk about sex. And you know children are naturally curious. They have this mind of their own that when they want to know something, they will go to any length to find out the answer to that thing. If you don't tell them, there are people outside that are ready, uncles, cousins, friends that are ready to tell them. And thereby making them learn it the wrong way. The way that when you find out, you won't be happy. So it is best for you as a parent, especially a mother. Especially, I'm not like, mothers and fathers, this is for everybody, but as the mother, because you're always closer to the child, you're always there. So as a mother, the best thing for you to do is when your child, when you see, when your child is about leaving primary school, when the child is like in primary, primary four, five, you just be watching, keep close watch. Watch your child, the kind of us, the kind of friends he keeps, he or she keeps, the kind of things they say, the kind of cartoons they watch. Because some cartoons these days are adult cartoons. You see, a, you see cartoons that um, a male and female will be kissing, and your child will be there watching. He, the child is learning one or two things as well. 
forget that it's um, an animated movie. So you keep a close watch on the child. When is when the child is like maybe in primary five, primary six, basically eight to nine years. Some people, some parents say is only only when their child hits puberty or when they are under adolescence age. No, somebody like me, I knew everything I wanted to know about sex when I was nine, eight, nine. I started reading Mills and Bond when I was at as early as 10 years old. I knew everything about conception. I knew everything about sex, even before my mom gave me the talk at the age of 16. So I believe that the best way, um, I don't want to use myself as an example, so the best way is at that age of, that's eight, nine years, you call your child, you teach, first of all, you explain to them their body. You start from their body, how it works. You don't just jump right into sex and start telling them, okay, this is, this is it. This is this one. No. You start from their body. You tell them this is their breast. Very soon now, your breast will be like mommy's own. Your breast will start coming out. You start developing breasts. And you see the child curiosity as it grows. The child will start asking you questions. Okay, what will happen when my breast grow? What will happen? You know, and then you keep answering in a very delicate and subtle manner. And then when, even if it's a male child, you talk to the father. If it's a male child because you are a mother, so you have to talk to the father, okay, this is what you tell our son. Our son is nine years old now. Tell our son that very soon he'll start having pubic hair, he'll start um, his you, uh, wet dream and all those ones. You don't wait till it happens before you start teaching them. No. So you direct that one to the father, and the father will sit, no matter how shy or how reserved the father is, it is you as a mother that will educate him that this is normal. This is the right thing to do. When a child knows something, when a child is, when you build that bond with your child and he, he or she goes out there and hears the wrong thing, you see that child coming back to you and say, Mommy, somebody said this thing and I believe it's not true because you already told me the right one. You see that closeness, see that bond growing between you and your child. So you start from the breast. Maybe, it's, maybe on a very good day you talk about just the breast. Educate your child about her breast. When you're done, next time you go down to her vagina. You tell her that this is your vagina. I, 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 I was once like you, and then I got pregnant through this vagina. I gave birth to you through this same vagina. Same way, the curiosity will grow, and she will ask you questions. As it goes by, when the child, that one is nine, when the child gets to 10, 11, you start with menstruation. You start teaching the child about menstruation, about the period and everything. And then the child will keep asking you questions. And that's when you tell the child, because there are so many evil uncles out there. There are so many, not even only uncles, even female. I've had a case where a fem a, an auntie was molesting his, her own niece, a girl of nine years old, touching her private part, like using her own index finger to insert into the girl's private part. Can you just imagine? Your own, your own niece. So you tell the child that this is a no-go area. This place belongs to just you alone. You understand what I'm saying? And you also, at that age, that 10, 11 years, that is where the child will have a right to her own privacy as a girl. The father, will, the father now, when she's changing, you don't, because she doesn't have a breast yet, because she doesn't have pubic hairs, you always let her know that, okay, take your privacy. I'm a, I'm a man, I'm your father. Let me leave you to change. That is when the child will start realizing that, wow, this is my body and... I've gone to this age that I own my body. No male is supposed to come near me when I'm naked. You see, you see that child at that age, tying top or covering the body and all that. And then when it's a male child, so you, the mother, will always want to give him that privacy. At age 11, 12, you'll be like, my son, okay, get dressed. I don't want to. Even if you're his dressing, try to remove your face. It's not like you're doing something bad if you're looking at him, but you're giving him that sense of privacy. So let him know that his body is his. And it has gotten to that age and he'll start covering all those things up. Yeah, he's, the child is very little. The male and female are still very young. When you say 12, you'll be like, 12 years is small. But that age, if you go into the mind of a 12-year-old child and know what they know, you'll be shocked. You'll be surprised. And they will let you know. When you see them all innocent and um, vulnerable, you'll be like, my child doesn't know anything. But he could do worse behind closed doors. So when you educate them on this as they grow, as the child grows, you tell her about men menstruation, about period, about not letting the man come close, even if he's an uncle. You tell, you tell the child that if you do this thing, it's not only about getting pregnant, it will ruin your future. 
it will discourage everything good coming to your way and also it will make you miserable you inculcate that into that child you even see the child going out to teach her peers and this is what my mother taught me you understand and and then as the child ages as the child grows you bring in um um uh, what you start bringing in um sex premarital sex you start teaching the child about sex that as in basic sex not like intercourse not the straight corners of all intercourse you start teaching the child tell the child that this is something you shouldn't do this is something you do when you become an adult probably at the age of 18 when you know that yeah you're mature enough to take the decision yourself so um that's the house stuff for now let's go for a commercial break when we come back I'll delve into more sex aspects affecting us. Thank you. There's nothing that sweets women in another sex. Nothing! No, no sensation, no sweetness. You get infection in another sex, sweeter than vagina. That is where the waste comes out from. The waste is sweet. The waste, as all the testing where you're putting your body, that's where God said it's coming out from. You can't give me a dick I suck as an oral sex and then just vocally talk about how to suck. Same or doesn't make sense. This one is just how to give a blue job. QED, that's the way you use this one. How to give a blue job. Well, that's it. We enter my book. Hello, guys. Welcome back so, to my to our talk show. So, um, like I said before, parents, mothers, this is specially directed to you. Focus on bringing your children up the right way, the way you want them to go. Let them learn everything about sex from you. Don't let them go out and get this from their peers because everything they will learn from their peers will be very, very entirely wrong. So teach them so that when they grow up, they would they will be so grateful and thankful to you that you taught them all these things the right way. So if you want to learn, if you want to know more, if you want to follow up on uh, um, more episodes, if you want to follow up on this sex enlightening program, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Nolly Africa. Everything in small letters. The spelling goes this way: N O L L Y A F R I K. Nolly Africa, all small letters. And for for more information, if you want to sponsor this program, if you want to advertise, if you have any medical, if you have any drugs that would, that cures any infection anything at all and you want us to advertise for you please call this channel this number that i'm going to call out now which is 070-300-69-550 i take it again 070-300-69-550 so in our subsequent um, lectures i'm going to be enlightening you more about sex in general, between couples, adults, different sex styles, blue jobs, how to finger a woman and all that. I'm glad I'm here and I'm always here. See you next time.